Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial in Studio 1.4. Today I wanted to show you a little bit about the arranger track and also uh, searching for loops because um, there's a powerful search feature in here so you don't have to deal with looking at um, folders and things. So I'm just going to click on loops and you see we have this big selection of different things and you have to drill down and down and down and finally okay so we'll forget about that for now and what I want to do is start building a pop song so I'm just going to type in the search here pop and it gives me everything I need for pop there's drums and guitars and bass and all that so I'm just going to look for an intro and it shows me intro for drums intro for bass so I'm just going to drag that over here and let's see an intro for bass not really listening to them and let's say I want to put a verse in there let's see what we got for verse so there's drums one verse I know I was using drums one up here and um, bass and let's look at a chorus so I got uh, drum one chorus and just look for a bass in here uh, bass chorus okay really won't play these because you know we don't uh, I don't want to waste your time so um, you can also you know keep drilling down and put other stuff in here like uh, any keyword in here so it says power chorus so if I typed in power it should just show me the power chorus things so really cool and then you can delete these easily by you know getting rid of it like this so that cuts down on the time for dealing with folders and drilling down and finding things like that so it'll work uh, that way uh, and your auditioning the clips would be really nice too so the next thing I want to do is take a look at the arranger track so I'm going to click here on the open arranger track and double click in the uh, lane for it and what it's going to do is, you see how it made the entire, uh, it took up the entire part of where the range was selected. So what I want to do is uh, I can move this back here, pretty rudimentary, and double click again and it's going to fill up the whole thing. So maybe I don't want to deal with that so I'm just going to click here and cut these and go back and just delete this part and double, well, go into the inspector and double click this and call it course now the great thing about this is let's say that uh, there's a part of this song that um, I want to use as a pre-course uh, wh wherever that would be um, because probably you're going to be recording your own instruments in here and you know there'll be happy accidents and stuff like that and inspiration and you go back and uh, start cutting this up to make a song out of it so let's say there was a part right here that I wanted to use as a verse or a pre-chorus so I could type in that pre-chorus and maybe I wanted to deal with it off the side for a while so what I could do is just press alt key and drag it out here so I had this pre-chorus that's like one idea I was looking working on and maybe there was another idea who knows whatever we got over here just close this browse and so this section here let's say I want to get rid of that I can delete the range and it will delete all the clips underneath it audio clips and move it ripple delete it so that it um, the song contracts and let's say that I was working on this over here and you know dealing with it and get that kind of the way I want it so I want to insert it into the parts here there's a couple ways uh, I could do that either I can um, just drag it into position and it's going to take it from wherever it was at and put it in there or I could drag this whole clip and put it in between um, and it will do the same thing 
just make this and so that's a really powerful feature it's really nice to do that and uh, one cool feature that I hope comes in the future is to color code these like the same way that you can color code your tracks so that might be something in the future to check out I don't know but um, I really like this it's really nice how you can build a song and the other thing is cool about this is let's say you're starting off and you just have drums or maybe no clips at all so you make a template kind of and you watch you know like okay first I want to put an intro in here so you work on that and click on the punch here and work on that part and get that in and then come over here and do the verse part and work on that and you just auto punch all these things so you can actually build yourself song templates of you know have an intro verse chorus slow parts fast parts and work on them and uh, in, in an intuitive way that way so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. Have a blessed day and a lot of fun with Studio One Four. It's awesome. And if you can go over to Presonus and download the um, Studio One Prime for free and get started using Studio One and you can definitely make songs in Studio One and export them to different places and uh, get your music heard. So. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.